Welcome back to my channel. This is Old New Dude uh, with Theories of Ten Full of Game of Thrones and Beyond. All fair use laws are in effect and spoilers ahead. I'm supposed to be doing Catlin 1 right now, but it is a very short chapter and it's world building and a little bit of background on Cat. And you kind of see how uh, Lord Stark's personality is a pretty good one. Uh, wasn't a whole lot there. Not enough for me to ramble for 15, 20 minutes, and I'm not going to ramble for 15, 20 minutes on something that small and put it on camera. I still ramble about it to my son, but that's, <laughs> that ain't worth putting out there for other folks to see. I've uh, been seeing a, a lot of Jon Snow hate on the, the, the Twitter sphere or the fandom, and uh, hell, I don't even know what fandom means. Uh, very selective on the information that I bring in to to my little world uh, that uh, to influence and agree and disagree with on Game of Thrones and uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, I think too many people are, in my opinion, which is probably wrong. But uh, are influenced by season six, seven, and eight, and then there's others that keep trying to, uh, to armchair quarterback this guy, if that's the right expression. Uh, stop and think about when you were 14, 15, 16. Me, I was a bigger idiot than I am now, but I thought I wasn't. Uh, and then put yourself into the situation that John's in now. How would you react? Damn flies. I swear I am going to switch my name to Lord of Flies. Uh, it'd blow my mind. I wouldn't be able to do it. I, at the time, be thinking I'd be able to do it, but I'd be dead wrong. And why would a fly land on my, you can land on my face, land on my shirt, stay off the hat. Uh, just scratch for little things. Spiders aren't working fast enough. And that stupid spray, I think you drink it and get drunk and that's about it. Uh, I like John. Is he my favorite character? No. Is he my favorite male character? Yes. Uh. I think a lot has been put on his shoulders, and in the books, I don't see him as an idiot. I don't see him as, there's something in here. I don't know if you heard that, but <laughs> if I get attacked during this video, <laughs> call 911. <laughs> but uh, let's see. It's hard not to read John and not see Kit Harrington. Which is a good thing. I thought he did a pretty good job. I know people on both sides of the fence on that one. But uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, which you still got to remember, it's a, it's a 14, 15, 16-year-old kid. And I know they say man grown at 16 and everything, but try being president of the United States at 16 years old. Try being a general. 16 years old I mean granted he grew up in Winterfell and 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 has been training uh, right alongside Rob so if Rob's being trained for the Lord of Winterfell then I'm pretty sure John's picked up on most of that and he's carbon copy of Ned does a lot of I mean a lot of the same things but uh, I mean give him a little break Try to forget and only base your opinion on the books. And is he a genius in the books? No. Is he the smartest person in the books? No. Does he make mistakes? Yeah. But they're his to make. George wrote him a certain way for a certain reason. And until George finishes out his story arc, I mean, we're just kind of along for the ride. And I'm enjoying the ride. I mean, like I said, in uh, Brand 1, I think he's the most important character. 
And then let's uh, address the, uh, the elephant in the room on John. Is he a secret Targaryen? There's those that say he is. The show said he is. It's got to be true, right? No, not necessarily. When uh, D and D uh, went to George about making this show, George asked him who Jon Snow's mother is. Um, not necessarily who his mother is is the most important thing. That in in George's eyes, the most important person was Jon Snow. And they gave an answer, and I haven't seen anywhere what the answer was, and I haven't seen anywhere where George says, oh, hey, you got it right. I just think he wanted to see if they actually have read the books and had an opinion on it, and if they were passionate about their opinion. And as long as they were passionate about it, which probably back then they were, um, that's all he needed. And if they thought something different than what he thought, then maybe that'd be a good thing because they're definitely were going to get ahead of his books. There's, I mean, he ain't, he can't Xerox these things out and just keep on going. So I don't put a whole lot of stock in that. Now we had the Mormont's razor, uh, razor. <laughs> I ain't shaving. Uh, Mormont's Raven. Uh, Say the word king, stuff like that. You can just stop and think. Um, John can be king. Doesn't necessarily mean king of Westeros. King of the north. King of winter. Um, everything he's doing up there has involved in winter. So I don't think the old gods pretty much care who sits on the, uh, the Iron Throne. I think they more worry more or there's more importance on who's the king of winter. And just because some start knelt to Targaryen doesn't mean the old pirates still see it that way. So I did a video where I threw out a little tinfoil, which I love, that uh, Bran might be his father, not Bran. Damn, it's early. I got to do these videos when the five-year-old is asleep or preoccupied. So he's asleep, so I got up early. Um, but Brandon was his father. And I said I like that theory. I love the fact, or I love the theory of Ned being his father. Um, I don't know if I want him to be a secret Targaryen. You know, I mean, it could be. I don't know. I think there's stuff that could go either way with it. I think George wrote it that way well, on purpose. He writes a lot of stuff that could go either way. And, and it's up to each individual that uh, determines how you take the story and how you read it. I say before, you get out of what you put into it. So your own opinions in the story. To determine how you think things are going to go. And I honestly believe that if it wasn't for YouTube and excuse me, social media and the show, we definitely have Winds of Winter already. And well on our way to getting the Dream of Spring. Um, I think too many people have talked about it. Too many people got the right idea. And instead of the the book clubs where you got 20 people in a circle not talking to anybody else. Um, you ain't got the whole world watching these things. I think it slowed him down or made him rethink. Uh, I know he probably says he ain't going to change anything, but if somebody's got it dead to rights and then a lot of people jump on that bandwagon or if they've gone the complete other direction, Excuse me, there's still a little cold going around. Um, the thought of putting out Winds of Winter and proving one side or the other wrong. Uh, if he's going to piss off fans. In the end of the day, he's just got to put it out. Fans are going to think what they think. 
But getting back to John, I know I ramble and I get off topic. That's me. If you've watched any of these channels and I, nobody has. <laughs> Ain't why I do it. It's a, it's a memory thing. I like talking. Uh, that's my wife. I really love talking. Um, John. John, Ned, characters like that are the type of person that I think we all should strive to be. Or at least I do. I mean, faced with an extremely difficult choice, do you always do what's right? Or do what you think is right? It's just, don't hate. There's more to it. More is coming. Uh, take yourself out of your opinion. Kind of. I mean, it's extremely difficult to filter, show, to book. Um, but don't take what D&D &D did. I mean, like I said, I don't bash the the show on camera much. But I love the show. Did I like season eight? No, but I still got to see a dragon. Uh, still got to see Jon Snow. Still got to see Danny. Got to see Arya. Got to see the Hound. Um, I mean, yeah, should have gone a couple more seasons and all that stuff, sure. But it didn't. I mean, you just got to deal with it. I choose to, to separate from season six on from my opinions of the book. And like I said, it ain't easy because it's in there. Especially if you watch the show several times like I have. It's a whole lot easier to hit play <laughs> than sit there and open the book. <laughs> uh, I tend to be lazy with it. Uh, but John, Danny, any of the characters that that took different paths in the show, which a lot of them did. Um, you gotta, you gotta read the books for the books. You gotta put the show out of your mind. It's done over with. Griffin ain't gonna fix it. HBO ain't gonna fix it. The actors aren't gonna fix it. George ain't gonna fix the show. It's done. It's over with. Put it to bed. Um. Give the characters in the books the benefit of the doubt. Give George the benefit of the doubt that he's got something different planned. And, I mean, even if Hodor ends up the same way, then, oh, well, the the journey to get there is going to be a whole lot different. Or if it ain't, okay. But every character in the book, every character that's in the book that wasn't in the show, I mean, it's not going to happen, so... Just quit rewatching the show, <laughs> or just watch the first couple seasons uh, until it starts to to really diverge. But that's my ramble. Uh, just, I don't, I don't knock people their opinion for hating John or hating any character. It's like I told you before, I got to, to rethink my opinions of Littlefinger. Do I hate him yet or not? I'm trying to keep an open mind. But when it comes to John, I mean, I believe at the end of the day that John's going to do what's right. Just like Ned would have done. I believe at the end of the day, Danny is going to do what's best for her people. I said this in the last video. I believe at the end of the day that the Hound, if we see him again, and I hope we do. I like the character. Uh, he's going to do pretty much the same thing he's done the entire story. I don't think that 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 he's had uh, an arc. I think he's been the same person the whole time. It's just finally at the beginning of it, he just kind of got pissed off at being told what the hell to do. But he's been the same person. And I think going forward, he's going to be the same person. He might have different motives for doing it, but he's going to be the same person. 
But I look forward to finding out what those journeys are. And granted, I, I worry about Arya, which uh, I've already said is my favorite character. Uh, I still look forward to finding out what that journey is. So, I mean, hate on fictional characters is, well, with the world we live in today, is the least of our problems. So, I mean, just, I ain't telling you to ease up. You can keep your opinion. This is for me, I don't hate John. I don't think he's an idiot. I don't hate Danny. I don't think she's an idiot. I mean, I know they all can't get along or anything like that, but if there wasn't trouble, if there wasn't mistakes, if everybody did the most beautiful thing and the right thing and never made a mistake, then this story would be kind of boring. You kind of got, kind of got to ride the roller coaster of the ups and downs that George takes us on. And uh, that's it. I'm done rambling. I just it was on my mind. Just like Vengeance Dark was on my mind, Little Finger was on my mind, just being on Twitter the last couple of days, just seeing some of the, the comments. I don't know, it just got me, got me thinking about John. Like I said, I think he is the last hero, which is different than Azor High. I think he's the king in the north, the king of winter. Um... I think he is either the blood of the first blood of House Stark, meaning that he is the son of Brandon Stark, or that he is the son of Ned Stark. I know I was on the fence a while, but hearing the comments about John brought me back into 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 my thoughts about John. Uh, I mean, I don't want him to be. I mean, I don't want him to be a Targaryen. Uh, I think there are others that are going to be the three head. Or if the, uh, I know someone, I think, I forget who it was, said that uh, George said not all three heads are going to be named Targaryen, or three heads of the dragon are going to be named Targaryen. Uh, does that mean the head of a dragon can be a non dragon person? Or does that mean that uh, Fagon is a, a black fire? Don't know what that means. Do I think John's one of those heads? No. I don't think that George would sit there and give you so much about a character and bring you along on his journey just to 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 give you everything you need to know about this person before he makes him head a uh, second or third head of the dragon. So hey, there's more to it. Hey, there's more to all of this. Uh, the first long night, I don't think it was the first long night. I think this thing's been going on a while. But we'll get into that in another video. But uh, all right, that's it. I'm done rambling. I say that and then I keep on talking. Uh, don't care if you like, don't care if you subscribe. Uh, ain't why I do this, but I do like comments. I mean, leave your comments, good or bad, about John. Uh, leave your comments, good or bad, about this this channel. I mean, I take everything with a grain of salt, mostly. Um, but yeah, talking about Game of Thrones is a good thing. The second we stop talking about it, then it just kind of fades away a little bit. So, I like talking about it every day. I missed yesterday. I'm sick young. So, enjoy. Stay safe. Uh, keep your opinions. But, uh, rethink. Uh, just my advice. Put yourself in the person's shoes that you have an opinion on. What would you have done in that situation at that age? Not now. I'm 50 years old. And hell, I still think Jon Snow's handling a whole lot better than I would. So, just take a second look. Second thought. Don't hold on to 
to the hate or the opinion to the point that you won't give it up. Uh, be open. I, like I said, I keep my channels, all the channels I watch don't agree on everything. One says one thing, the other one says the complete opposite. I enjoy both channels. I enjoy both opinions. Do I lean more towards one on this subject and then towards the other one on the other subject? Yeah. But, I mean, if you only listen to people that agree with you, then you're not going to learn nothing new. You're not going to see it through a different set of eyes. Those different set of eyes might click something in your brain. There you go. I kept rambling. I was done, and I kept on talking. But, okay, this is it. I think. So, have a nice day. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time on Old New Dudes, Theories, and Temple of Game of Thrones, and beyond. And the next video should be back to Old New Dudes, rereads, rereads. Uh, I'm not going to put out a video on Catlin 1. It's too short. Uh, but have a nice day. Thank you for watching this video. Be good.